Gillum and I am going to share a Choctaw story with you that was actually donated to Poto School District from Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma. I'm the JOM director and the Indian Ed director for Poto Schools and also a member of Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma. The story I'm going to share with you today is called The Story of Taunchy. It was illustrated by Leslie Stahl Widener and edited and published by Joy Colbreth, Kathy Carpenter, and Teresa Billy. This book also includes some Choctaw words that I'm going to share with you. One of them is deer, and the Choctaw word for deer is issy. And you can say that with me, issy. Another word that is in the book that is spoken in Choctaw is eat, impa. And woman, ohoyo, meat, nippy, thank you, yakoki, corn, taunchy, and this is the story of taunchy or the story of corn, and dog, oofy. Long ago, two Choctaw boys and their dog, oofy, were hunting for food using bows and arrows. The Choctaw boys hunted for many hours, but did not find a squirrel or deer, issy, to kill and eat. Finally, the boys shot a blackbird. They gathered sticks and made a fire to cook the bird so they could eat it. They were very hungry. The meat, or nippy, cooking over the fire smelled good, and they could not wait to eat. Impa. They sat down to impa, or eat. Suddenly, a beautiful woman, a hoyo, appeared, standing on top of an earth mound. I am very hungry, said the unknown ahoyo, or woman. The boys were kind and gave the ahoyo the freshly cooked nippy, or meat. She ate it all. Thank you, yakoki, said the ahoyo, or woman. Although the boys were still hungry, they did not tell the Ohoyo they had nothing left to impa, or eat. The Ohoyo said, because you are willing to share, I will give you a surprise. Go home and return to this spot after the next moon. At the next moon, the two boys went back to the place where they had seen the Ahoyo, or woman. On the mound where the Ahoyo had been standing, a surprise was growing. It looked like a skinny tree. It had yellow things growing from it. The boys did not know what this strange gift was. They pulled off one of the yellow things and smelled it. It smelled good. They ate some of it. It tasted good. Let us take this home and ask someone what it is, the boys said. No one knew what it was. Not mother, not father. No one in the village knew. The people in the village liked the taste. Let us call this gift taunchy or corn, they said. From that day forward, Choctaw women raised and cooked crops of taunchy. The unknown Ohoyo's gift helps Choctaw women feed their families today. This is the story of taunchy, or corn, Yakoki. As with all indigenous cultures around the world, Choctaw stories are representative of why stories found in most Native American tribes. Why stories sought to express the significance and meaning of the world around them, the natural elements, the traits and behavior of animals, and explanations of how things came to be are the basis of oral storytelling passed down through the generations. Many stories were open-ended and taught cultural values, manners, and traditions. These ageless stories are given to you to share with new generations of Choctaw storytellers.